This happens now and then. You go to open up your Google Drive, you go to find a document that's in your Google Drive, and you don't have the ability to edit it. Now, it happens to me every now and then, not very often. There's been some really strange reasons why it's happened to me as well over the years. But again, it doesn't happen very often, but it happens enough that it's frustrating to those it happens to. And I thought I would talk about a few ways that this may happen and how you can fix not being able to edit your own Google document. Let's talk about a few of the ideas, how this may happen. Well, first of all, it may be the file is actually shared with you and you think you own it, but you don't really own it. So if I go to my Google Drive and I go looking around, I open up a file that I believe belongs to me, but I'm in view only mode. So this file does not belong to me. If I go to file details, it owner is Teddy Burris. Well, that's me, but it's Teddy Burris in a different Google account. So this is one way that happens. It happens to me where I think it's my file in this Google account, but it's actually my file, another Google account, and I'm in view only mode and I can request edit access to get that. So if the person who shared it with me would be willing to, they can give me edit access. This is probably the most usual way that we run into this issue where we think we own this file, but we really don't in this Google account. The second thing that could be happening is it could be a Google Doc that you actually do own, but you've actually locked it. So here's a file right here, um, you know, 23 questions regarding using uh, LinkedIn as a business tool. Well, it could be that I own that document, but it could also be that I made a deliberate decision to lock that document. So I've locked it thinking I'm trying to protect it. And maybe I locked it years ago and I go, oh man, that's the file I want. And I double click on it and open it up. And you know what? I don't have the ability to edit it. The document is locked. Well, fortunately, when I first got into the document, I saw that little pop up here. What happens if I refresh it? But, uh, and I'm going to do that in a minute, but I got this request edit access. Well, that doesn't do anything other than bring up this little button that says ask for access. But if I refresh this, let's see, there it is there. The document is locked, unlock to edit. So I click on that, unlock the file, unlock it. Now I have full edit access. I have everything I want. So I can come down here, I can double click and I can delete. So again, the second way was I locked the file myself and forgot that I did it. The third reason you may not be able to edit your own Google Doc is it is your Google Chrome or your web browser. I'm all about using Chrome for Google Docs. It, it seems to be the most logical thing for me to do, even though I know it works in other browsers. But it could be your browser needs to be updated. So pay attention to updates. Make sure you know that your web browser is up to date. Before, uh, and and you, can, you can rule that out as a possibility if in fact it is up to date. Another issue is that your web cache may need to be cleared. Now, web browsers open up cache, they cache all kinds of files and images, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's a plethora of documents that are hidden in your uh, browser cache. You may need to clear that out every now and then just to make sure it doesn't cause a problem with using tools in your web browsers. I'm a, I'm a big fan of every now and then, if I have a problem, the very first thing I do is I delete my browser data and I specifically clear out my cache. I clear all that out. Now, by the way, when you do this, remember, if you wipe everything, it could very well force you to log back into Chrome, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever tools you're logging into. But I'm telling you, cleaning house every now and then can help eliminate some of these problems as in this example, not able to edit your Google Doc. So clear your cache now and then. Another reason you may be having problems editing a Google Doc is possibly you have a, a Google or a browser extension that is becoming problematic. Now, the way you test that is first you take a look and see what extensions you have. And, and, and hopefully the extensions are the ones that you expect to have. And one didn't you know, just show up because of some nefarious email you got. Now, you don't need to remove them to test this. You could simply just turn it off 
And when you turn it off, refresh the browser and try to edit your doc again. You may find the offending extension that way. But this is just another idea to check for to make sure that it is not the problem. And if you do find a browser uh, extension that is causing problems, then I would remove it. And I would go to, in this case, the Chrome Web Store, and I would get the updated version. Here's another reason you may be having problems editing your own Google Docs or any, any doc in your Google Drive. And that is maybe your Google Drive is full. I do know that when your drive gets full, it can create situations where you're not able to add more data to your Google Drive. And so make sure you're nowhere near, in this case, this is free Gmail, make sure you're nowhere near being full. And if you are getting close to being full, go empty out your trash, go look for docs that you no longer need, folders you no longer need, delete those docs, delete those folders, and then remember to come back and empty your trash. And then try it again. Now, we, we these are computers. Computers do fail, problematic, have all kinds of chaos every now and then. So what you might want to do is you might want to shut down your device and restart it and see if that clears up any snafu that's getting in the way. You may actually want to try shutting down the browser, restart the browser and see if that clears anything out. Again, these are not, it's not unusual for a device or for a browser to need to be rebooted every now and then. Here's another reason you may be having this situation, that you're not able to edit the doc that's in your Google Drive. It could be the doc you're trying to edit is a document that is not compatible to Google Docs or that the system can't determine how to edit it. And so you go to open that document and edit it and you don't, you can't do it again because this document is not a Google Doc. So in that case, what Google's going to want you to do is we're going to want you to download it and then go find an app that's on your computer to be able to edit it. So could be a situation. I know that I, every now and then I save documents in my Google Drive that are not compatible to Google Docs at all. Mainly, I put it there to be able to save it and store it. And the last reason that I know of that you may not be able to edit a Google Doc in Google Drive is the document's gotten corrupted. Now, this has happened to me one time, and it was really frustrating because it was a part of my book series, and it was a pretty big document. I'd done a lot of copying and pasting into it. I'd done a lot of editing into it, and it actually got corrupted. And I couldn't, I couldn't, no matter what I tried, I wasn't able to edit it. I was lucky that I was able to control A, control C, and copy it all. Then I opened another blank document, and then I pasted it with no formatting, and then I was able to edit that document. Now, I had to put all my formatting back into it, but I was able to capture all of my text, put it into a fresh Google Doc, and edit it from there, and then I, all I could do was go delete the one that was corrupted. So... These are just some of the ways that I know that could be causing you problems with you not being able to edit your own Google Docs. And I hope one of these is the answer for you.